welcome back um sorry i haven't been about for a few weeks it's been mad since uh, restrictions are lifted and i can get back out on the water garden and teaching and doing the stuff i love doing but i'm still going to try and get some of these fly time videos out to you and hopefully get a few more uh, fishing videos out as well in the next few weeks uh this is one uh, again a request uh, somebody's asked me to tie a midas fly um a very famous fly on the competition circuit made famous by a man called paul davison who invented this fly um and it's uh really taken apart the competition circuit in the last 10 probably longer than that years a lot of guys really love using these they seem to work really well for razor bar rainbows and browns alike especially towards the middle and end of the season um big bulky fly we'll go through it tie it um we'll talk more about it as we're tying it so hook for i'm using for this one is a uh, 170 size 10 um you can use 175 as well this fly is made to be twiddled as well as fish dry um it's tied dry but you can fish it just as successfully under the surface i've got a uh, claret thread there this is this is a 60 so we'll just start by getting that thread on the hook working that way down and then we're going to trap in the rib so rib for this fly is a bit of old fluorocarbon all right it's a nice clear rib this one it's quite a bulky fly this so fluorocarbon is ideal helps to bed the fly in i think that was the thought behind it when using fluorocarbon this is six pound this is just six pound fluorocarbon so we're just going to catch that into the rib and then take the thread all the way down right to the bend of the hook like so uh we're going to make this a fiery brown hopper um so i've got uh fiery brown seals fur there and we're just going to dub on very similar uh way so this is a very similar way of tying to a uh, tiny hopper it's the same sort of uh procedure to it i'm just going to dub on some of this uh, fiery brown seals fur and don't be afraid to put on a fair bit as i say this is a fairly bulky fly this is um you can wax your thread if you like most of these threads are pre-waxed or just wet it but I'll just get it on there tied on there like so lovely we're just going to bring that up right from the bend of the hook so tie it quite a way back and we're going to bring that all the way around so two thirds of the way back up the body just to about there all right and just finish that about there lovely i'm going to bring your uh, fluorocarbon up in nice reasonably tight turns to lock everything down coming up through that body there it's got lots of trigger points and it looks like a lot of things it looks like a not nothing it just seems to work it's uh it's the same very successful flight yeah I, i've got to be honest it's it, not my favorite dry fly but a lot of my pals really really love this fly um team captain lee pond he's, he's mad for it and, and so are the boys and it works you know i'm not looking it it certainly works so we've got a nice decent sized body there uh, tied in um, and what we're going to do at this point now is put a couple of legs in and for that we're just using a bit of uh, pheasant tail this is a hen pheasant tail and we're going to take four of these and just select four nice barbs and then we're going to run the thick ends down the hook all right so i'm going to turn the fly upside down and i'm going to take the thick ends and just pair them off like so and then run them down and tie them in they can just come over the back of the hook we'll probably end up trimming some of this off anyhow as we go but that will do mate that's just wants to be about two other side like so catch them in lovely job done that's it just catch them in like that and trim off the excess turn the fly back up again it's one of them flies really tight it looks weird it looks mad and then it all comes to life when you scruff it up at the end it seems to pull it all together very effective way of time i've got to end it the pool I and mean, then come across this it's uh yeah really really works so another smaller amount of uh seals fur here uh, just to make a thorax cover up your tying in the legs there so they get that dubbed onto the hook there and then just bring that around giving yourself a bit of a room at the head here still you've got a nice thorax there that's lovely just bring the thread forward of the thorax just like so and now we're actually going to put a bit of a hackle on this fly now um this is going to be um you, cock or hen it doesn't really make it matter again this is just a brown to match the pattern 
so I'm going to select a reasonable size feather uh, out of that and it wouldn't be huge but you wouldn't be able to it's similar sort of size as if you were tying a, a hopper so I just offer that up in the barbs you can see that sort of size that's going to cloak the top of that fly quite nicely so just strip that back till you get to the usable part catch it in on that thread forward just catch it in there and on the thread backwards like so and then we're just going to put a few turns of this in and we're going to go nuts on it One, two three turns should be ample all right and then just bring your thread back up through the hackle and just trap it just behind the eye there and that just catches everything in trim off the excess without taking too much of your hackle with it lovely and then just work that back a little bit to give you a bit of space here and what we're going to do is with the Midas I think this is what gives it its name we're going to add a nice little bit of this stuff it's light bright gold um, glitter gold dubbing just at the top of the head there just to liven things up a bit and just take a little bit of this dub it on don't need masses of it but just enough to finish it put a couple of wraps in to finish it just like that let's drop these scissors lovely right we dub that onto there make sure everything's back of the eye and then we're just going to give that a couple of wraps like so and then just finish off in front of the eye of the fly okay that's lovely we're just going to finish that off now that's us that's all we need to do to that just finish that off whip finish in there perfect okay trim the thread off like that a little drop of varnish on there just to secure drop of varnish now what we're going to do with that so i'm just going to trim these legs back well first of all, i'm going to bend them a little bit just scruff them up a little bit just bend them a little bit just like so so they look a bit yeah lovely i'm just going to trim them down they're just a tad shorter so they sort of lay on the water not too much longer than the that's it and then with your velcro brush just take your velcro brush and give this a real nice scruffing up and this is where this starts to really come to life it looks like a huge fly it is a huge fly but trust me these things on their day incredible incredible and there we go that's it just like that and that is your Midas scruffy old fly when you come to gink this just a tiny little bit of gink over the back of it it doesn't need much because as I said earlier the beauty of this fly is it fishes really really well dry but you can pull them under the surface and they're just as good fish wet as well they create lots of disturbance in the water they create lots of fuss in the water um and the fish just home into them i've seen matches one i remember the eleanor boys winning the anglian water one year um over two days just fishing these um fishing them sunken or fishing them on top i mean hats off to them they're a great fly on their day um, and you can't afford not to have them in your box nowadays and that's it that's the Midas fly so i hope you enjoyed that nice quick tie again and uh yeah please click like click click subscribe it all helps and um any requests i'll see what i can do and if not i hope i'll get a few more videos out to you soon rather than later thanks very much for watching bye, -bye.